Welcome back to The Mix. My name is Phil Armijo, your master mixologist. <laughs> and with me, as always, the lovely Julie Smith. Hello, everyone. Phil, what's up? What's up? It's been a long time. It has been a long time. Like, a couple weeks. A couple weeks. <laughs> Something it's like that. Long. Well, listen, I'm excited because every time I come hang out with Phil, I get good drinks, I have you a good time. That? I mean, yeah, come on, it's party time. Here. It's party time. Um, I'm just slightly distracted by the earrings. <laughs> What's it's, happening over yeah, here? What is well, that? listen, okay, last episode we were talking about uh, Cinco de Mayo and how the first thing that comes to your mind, of course, tequila. is tequila and margaritas. Margarita. And so I'm still in that mode, that Cinco de Mayo, uh, everything Mexican. So I decided to bust out my earrings that look like little pinatas. Pinatas, and they right. also match our bottles very nicely. <laughs> well perfect. done, you coordinate everything so well. Gosh, you know, I'm just saying, it's all on That's purpose. why she's our lifestyle expert right there, folks. Boom. So anyway, <laughs> I know that you were really excited about the margarita, even though we are yeah. talking about how the Americans use the frozen our thing. margarita machine and yeah. we kind of made that whole thing up. Everybody's had the sort of standard margarita. Let's do something a little fun. That's right. Yeah. So here's something you might not be prepared for. Mm. I am putting you to work today. Okay. That's right. What does this so entail? It's going to be four teaspoons of salt. Keep that there for a second. All right. And I've got a half a teaspoon and a quarter teaspoon of, this is the chili pepper here. Okay. Don't mix these up. This is the cayenne pepper. So the uh, larger yeah. portion is the chili pepper because it's not as spicy as the cayenne pepper. And I yeah. know you don't like spicy. Right, things. that's why I'm, you're right. I gotta keep this straight. So it's chili, chili powder. It's just powder, right. Okay. So it's just the flavor, it's not okay. the heat. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so that that's is important for me. So because, go ahead and add to yeah. our little, uh, add this the salt little first. Ring. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna be entertaining back here and juggle. <laughs> just, just you kidding. show off, because <laughs> you kidding. can. I'm gonna go ahead and actually zest the lime here. Because okay. what this is going to do, this is going to neutralize the heat from that cayenne pepper. Yeah, and I'm tapping here. a little bit of I my cayenne. See, I see what you're doing I know. over there. I'm I not cheating. This, this is, I'm, I'm customizing. And everybody want. knows how much heat they can and cannot tolerate. So that's perfect that you can do what you need to do. Exactly. What's cool about this is right off the bat, I don't think I've ever been to a restaurant where the salt rim had color and looked like confetti. You know what right. I mean? It's just salt, right? I'm gonna hand you that. Oh, you can okay. just kind of mix gonna... it in fair. Okay. Um, so what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna rim our glass yep. and we're gonna actually use this chili mix to the rim of the margarita. That's where we get the chili lime margarita that we're Ooh. about to teach you guys how to make. Them. Chili lime margarita. That sounds awesome. And you know, of <laughs> course, with Mexican cuisine, chili peppers are just a staple. I mean, that's just a huge part of it, right? Absolutely. Yeah. What you might not know though is chili peppers were cultivated in the region as early as 5,000 BC. So we're talking. Say yeah, 5,000 yeah, BC. Yeah, like it's been a minute. They've been doing this what? for a minute. Yeah, and then science has found um, huh. evidence in these pottery shards that they've been adding chili peppers to their beverages. I'll say beverages. I don't know if they called them cocktails or drinks or uh -huh. whatever. But yeah, they've been adding it to their beverages as far back as 400 BC. Wow. So we, as as you mentioned earlier, we are taking it all the way back. Oh yeah, we're taking it's like it back the OG ingredient. That's right, we're gonna yeah. take you guys back to the OG recipe, but we're gonna <laughs> put a cup of our own mix spins on. That's what we yeah. call the mix, right? Because we're mixing exactly. things up over here. Mix it up. That's right. Yeah. So all right, let's get to it. All right, let's do it. All right, for starters, the way that we're gonna get the rim to stick onto this glass here is we're gonna use the lime juice from our lime wheel that we're about to make real quick. Okay. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I just always thought they were <laughs> doing that with water. <laughs> yeah, well, lime usually, juice is it's, <laughs> if, even if it's one of those little trays that you see at the restaurants, they actually put lime juice on top okay, of it. Okay, gotcha. That's what sticks it. Um, I like to do a little cut on one of the sides here. That way we can just stick it oh, on yeah. the actual rim there. Now, the you wanna add a little squeeze to it. Mm -hmm. As you're coming around, you might see some of that lime juice fall into the cup yep. or around the side of it. That's fine. A little That's tang, right. too. Now, when you're rimming your glass, you just stick it in there, make a circular uh, motion like this. Mm -hmm. I go back and forth, that way I can push it up against the sides. Really get it on there. there. Right, and if you're not a huge fan of the chili lime salt rim, uh -huh. you can even just do a little corner lip like just this. Just get a little taste. Yeah, just get a little taste in there just to add the flavor, get your salt in there. Yeah. Um, plus, you want to taste this mix that you just made up at home, right? Right, exactly. I mean, and that's what I love about this is it's so customizable because I do love a margarita, but yeah, I can't take too much heat. So I can control the heat, I can control the salt. Next, since we're using all natural ingredients for this one here in, in place of my sour mix, I'm actually going to squeeze an ounce and a half of fresh Lime juice. And wow, that, that stuff travels. Every, <laughs> you yes, get me does. every time with a lime juice, but that's okay. That makes <laughs> me feel more involved. Oh, in the I get it. Yeah. I love it. There we 
and that. again, and that again, that salt rim is so cool. I don't think I'm not saying it doesn't happen, but I've never had one in a restaurant that had the festive salt rim, and it's just so fun. It's cool to look at. It's um, kind of a conversation piece. It's perfect when you're getting together with your family and friends, which is huge in Mexican right. culture. You know, it's always everything is a family gathering. Everything's a family event. Now. Most importantly, we're going to add our El Jimador our tequila. Jimador. Jimador. Wait, that's not how you the said Blanco. it. The Blanco. How'd you say that before? Sober. Earlier. Jimador. Jimador. I got I to gotta puff up the way Phil does when he says El Jimador. <laughs> this is an ounce <laughs> and a half of that. Okay. One ounce of simple syrup. Okay. Give it a little. That's right. Sweetness. And then another twist that we're adding to this whole recipe today is we're going to use orange bitters in place of the orange liqueur. Okay. Traditionally, people use triple sec or some kind of orange liqueur. And what difference is it going to make switching over to bitters? This is just going to give it one, two, and three. Three dashes, by the way. Okay. It's just going to give it more of that orange citrusy flavor, a higher potency of that. Punching it up. A little bit of a punch. That's okay. right. We're going to add a little um, serrano chili pepper into this mix. How so, hot is the serrano chili pepper? It's going to have a nice little kick to it, but I'm only going to use a quarter of one, so not okay. to worry, not to despair. And you're literally mixing that into the drink. I am actually drink. mixing this into the drink. That's correct. Are you sure, Phil? You know I'm... Oh, this is delicious. You know I'm fragile. It's now, got a lot of ice in there, though, so that will cut the it ice down. Ice cut it down a little yeah. bit. I start to yeah. get anxious. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. I know you have to, this is a process here, but I'm all like... Hurry up, Phil. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It is ready, and I am excited for you to taste this one. Thank you. I am excited as well. Here we go. And I'm, I'm, I like that you put the salt, uh, a chili. Your lime, salt. salt. You made it. I did that. Yes, all well the way done. around. Because I do want to get a good taste of this. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Put, Thank you. Give you Need a little that. help there. That is so good. Super refreshing, and it's got just enough. I can credit myself for going easy. I tapped out a little of that cayenne, so it's perfect for me. It's not burning me up. But yeah, somebody that really loves that could load it on there. That is so good. I'm Phil Armijo, your max or mi Maxter. Maxter. Your Maxter? Maxter. Maxter. Plus my, that's okay, my mic is. And plus Julie's mic Popping out of my. Going places it shouldn't be going. Okay. This so reminds me of my boyfriend. I'm like, you're not listening to me, are you? Yeah, sounds great. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. Sounds great. That's all the time we have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this recipe or you want to see any other recipes, please feel free to visit themixga.com. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe by clicking the link below. Cheers, y'all. Adios. Mm -mm. Arriba. <laughs>